Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. One of you sent me an email asking how to set approaches in difficult airports like Paro Button, for example, where there is mountain all around and where you cannot fly a long final without eating anything in front of you. So how to set up this kind of approach? So in that video, I will show you two easy ways to do it. And there is many ways to do it with FSI panels. So let me show you the easiest step to practice this kind of approach. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's start FSI panel and have a look at our approach. All right, here we go on the uh, FSI panel. Power has been detected on runway 15 and today I will be using the PMDG 737-8 series for that example. So let me bring the chart of uh, Paro Airport and the user would like to fly this AirNav approach, which is a very nice approach, visual at the end, and you need to descend in between the mountain in the valleys to land straight in on runway 15. So to practice that approach, there is three initial approach fix. Papa Romeo 888 here at 17,000 feet. You have Papa Romeo 777 here, 16,000 feet. And you also have this initial approach fix there, Golf Tango, Sierra, Hotel, Oscar. So this is the three initial approach fix where we would like to start the approach. So if you look in the star now of this airport, you can see that we find again these three initial approach fix. We have the Papa Romeo 888 on the Subsu 1 arrival. We have the Papa Romeo 777 initial approach fix, which is on the Bogop arrival. And finally, we have the Golf Tango Sierra Hotel Oscar initial approach fix, which is on the Bogop 1 Bravo or Tashi 1. So the easiest way with VSI panel will be to select one star ending up in the waypoint where you want to fly your approach. So if, for example, we would like to fly this AirNav Zulu on runway 15 starting from Papa Romeo 777, then we could select the Bogop 1 Alpha with the waypoint Papa Romeo 777. So let's do that. In FSI panel, I will go to select fix, a star, and then I can see the Bogot 1 Alpha, that's the one we wanted. And we have our famous waypoint Papa Romeo 777 right there. So now FSI panel gives you a summary and option. You can see that the heading is set to 354. So if I look at the chart, this 354 is that heading. So this is perfect for us. If the heading is not correct, you can change it simply by clicking on the heading and changing to the value you would like. So for us, 354 is nice. Altitude 16,000 feet because there is a restrictions at or above 16,000 feet on the chart. Always make sure you check the altitude there and with your chart. So here we see 16,000 or above. Perfect. So we are good at 16,000. Finally, the last point is the offset, five nautical miles. So what that means, it means that FSI panel will set your aircraft five miles south of your waypoint on heading 354. So we should be somewhere around here inbound to Papa Romeo 777. If we are happy with that, then we can validate and click on move aircraft. So let's do that and see what happened on the, on the 737. We will set maximum landing weight and let's go in the cockpit. And we will go in the air. Here we go. Again, as always, do not touch anything when FSI panel program the aircraft, otherwise you might interfere and it might not work. See, now we are getting a cabin altitude high. This is not a problem. Everything will be fixed very soon. If you want to shut down the altitude on cutout, this is the button because it takes a while for the pressurization to go back to the correct value. So this is one thing you can do. All right. The aircraft is now ready at 16,000 feet. We have the message from FSI panel. Hold your brake for three seconds to take control. So now we can have a look at our MCDU or our FMC on the 737. So remember which approach we inserted, the AirNav Zulu 15. 
So if I go on Arrival, it's already selected. We had the Bogo 1, and the transition was Papa Romeo 777. Execute. So now if we look in our screen, if I select a direct to the Papa Romeo 777, then you can see that it, the waypoint is exactly five miles in front of us. So this is on the 354. This is exactly what we set with FSI panel. And from there, we will be able to fly the approach. Remember that on the, triple seven, on the 737, you need to set a cruise altitude in order to have a VNAV descent. So here we need to set 16,000. And when you set your cruise altitude, if you go in the progress page, you will get a top of descent. That top of descent is as well shown on the map. If you extend a little bit the map, sorry, you should see your top of descent as well on the map. It's in the middle of all this point, but it's there for sure. Right, so this is how you can fly this approach with the star method. So then what I need to do is take over the control. I will just have to take nav and vnav. And if you see vnav path, that means the aircraft will start descent whenever it's top of descent. So that was one of the way to do it, the easiest way. Take a star, select your waypoint, and here you go. Let's see another way to do it. So if we want to fly to this Papa Romeo 777 and we don't want to use the star, we can use the pilot waypoint feature. So we have this Papa Romeo 777. So let me go in FSI panel, select fix, and you have this select waypoint. Pilot custom waypoints. Here I will create a new waypoint. Okay, and this looks very difficult, but in fact, it's not that complicated. This is if you want to enter coordinates, but you can as well pick the actual aircraft position or you can pick an avid. So in, in our case, we're going to pick a fix, which is Papa Romeo 777. So I will type in Papa Romeo 777, search, and you can see that one waypoint has been found, which is 19 miles from my airport. So that's the good one. So I can click on it and select this waypoint. Now FSI panel knows that you want to create a waypoint with that uh, um, reference. Now if you want to uh, fly directly over red, you can just compute the coordinates. But if you want a radial or a distance, you can insert it here. So let's see what I mean with radial and distance. Papa Romeo 777 is right there. So if we want to be, let's say, 8 miles south of it, so that will be the radial. The opposite of 354, so that's 174, radial 174, so Papa Romeo 777, radial 174, 8 miles. So let's do that here, radial 174, and let's say 8 miles. Now we need to compute the new coordinates, that's it. Now we need to put a default altitude, 16,000 feet, the heading. We would like to have an heading of the aircraft at 354 as we would like to fly straight in to Papa Romeo 777. Finally, what is your configuration? Clean vector or final? Vectors will be with flaps intermediate position. Final will be fully configured for landing. So in our case, at that altitude, it's going to be clean. I can give the name that I want. So I will just put Papa Romeo 777. And then I will put 8 nautical miles south of PR777. I have my waypoint ready. I can click on Save Waypoint. Waypoint has been created successfully. Now I will show you something there. If you click on the waypoint, you can see that Export Save feature. You click on it and now you can save that waypoint. So I will put it here, VQPR PR777. 8 nautical mile south. So now this waypoint has been saved and I can share it with you. So you will find the link down below in the uh, description. And what you need to do if you want to fly to this waypoint, you drag and drop the waypoint over the main screen of FSI panel. 
All right, so now that the waypoint is created, if I go to select waypoint, I find my waypoint. I have everything ready. I click validate. And we will try it right now on the 737. So move aircraft. Let's go in the 737. And let's see if we are eight miles south of this waypoint as we created it manually. So let's have a look. And you will be able to import it and to try it yourself so you can fly this difficult approach. So we let FSI panel stabilize the aircraft at 16,000 feet. And then we will check if we are at eight nautical miles. So this is pilot waypoint that you can share with friends. If you have difficulties creating some pilot waypoints, please uh, ask me and I can do it for you maybe and then share it on the video or on the uh, Discord channel when it's easy to share uh, files. All right, so now we are just waiting for the aircraft to reach 16,000 feet. It looks like everything has been set up correctly. So we will check now our FMC. Hold your brake for three seconds to take control so I can go ahead. If I go to departure arrival page, I will select again my air nav the star and the waypoint. Execute. Now if I go direct to Papa Romeo 777, which is the one we have created, and I execute that waypoint, you can see that we are exactly eight nautical miles on the 354 toward the uh, waypoint. I didn't take the right, I, you have to take that one, sorry, that was my mistake. Otherwise, you don't have the, you have a discontinuity. All right, so you can see 354, eight miles, and the waypoint is in front of us. So we can now fly the full approach over and over and over again to make it perfect. Again, if you fly the 777, don't forget, if I go progress page now, I have a top of descent, but it's always advisable to make sure you have something there in the cruise page. As well, you can adjust your, your uh, cruise speed. If now you think you should not fly more than 255 knots because it's a difficult airport, change your speed there and as well change your speed in descent. As soon as the aircraft starts descending, she will accelerate to 273 knots. So there you could tell her that you would like maybe 240 knots for the descent and then she will compute the descent with 240 knots, even to 20, whatever you need to achieve a correct descent. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any question or comment, please let me know. This was how to create a pilot waypoint. The easiest way, as I said, is to use a star if the star ends up in a waypoint that you want to fly from. Otherwise, just create your pilot waypoint. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the video to the channel, sorry, and see you very soon for another video. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.